Is that my car? Probably. Oh, the battery's dead now. Great. Oh, nope, 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 nope! Jeez! darlings and welcome back to the channel if you're new please come in and make yourself at home my name is patty cake and welcome to patty cake games so if you've watched my channel recently then you know that i was really looking forward to a game called the gray hill incident and i recorded a full playthrough of it and it's on my channel if you'd like to watch it check out my channel i'll put the link in the description also the problem i had with that game was it was a severe letdown I was really excited because it's a genre, or I should say a sub-genre of horror that is not really touched very much in video games. We don't really have alien abduction video games. It's not a thing. And it should be because it's really scary. So I was really excited about that and it turned out that it was just kind of bleh. Now, it, to be fair, in their defense they have, uh, they have addressed a lot of the issues that people had with launch. Uh, but if you you can look up any of the vid other videos of content creators that played it on the day it came out and they all pretty much had the same opinion this game is pretty terrible an online friend of mine saw my videos to the gray hill incident and he pointed me at this game and he said this will restore my faith in alien abduction horror and the potential that it could have this is called they are here alien abduction horror it is it's a demo so it's not out yet so we're just going to play through this demo and see if this is something that is worth playing through once it finally does come out. Before we get started, if you look down below the video, there is a like button and a subscribe button. I would really appreciate it if you clicked on those. It doesn't cost you anything and it makes a huge deal for my channel. You can also click the notification bell and that'll let you know when new videos are posted to my channel. New videos come out every Saturday with the exception of some special events where I have extra videos that come out. But let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm excited. I want to find out what this is about. I want to see how good it is. Uh, this is a demo of the game. Uh... Now, I'm, I'm confused because it said the demo is the prologue, but I have two options, demo and prologue. So I'm kind of like, hmm. The prologue tells the story of the first UFO contact that happened 30 years before the events shown in the demo version. The main character is Private Michael Anderson, who serves at a military base near Grayswood Farm. By chance, he becomes a witness of terrible, inexplicable events. Air Force Base, August 6th. Voice acted nice. We've an unidentified object at 270 degrees, 20 miles moving fast. Do you copy? Over. Alpha, is that a meteor? It is not, most likely. Negative. I'll try to get in touch. You entering controlled airspace. What are your intentions? Introduce yourself. Oh, weird. Oh, okay, so the demo is, uh, the prologue is playable. This is base. The object has landed. Your task is to identify the object without contact. Omega team will arrive in one minute. We'll conduct surveillance from the moon. All right, I'm heading towards it. Report when you arrive. Am I supposed to walk or drive? I'm five by five, sir. Out. The 
This is Omega. We see you. We are monitoring. Okay. Omega, this is Michael Anderson. I report radiation detected. Ah, it's a Geiger counter. It's like wondering what that click was. Roger that. We're all quiet here. This is Omega. I'm reporting. We see blue light. Straight to the device is a little naughty. Compass and all the instruments are not correct. The data is pathetic. We continue the operation. Over. Object is being detected and is approximately away from you. You don't notice movement over it. More radiation. Lots of radiation. Oh my gosh. Omega, what the hell is going on with your devices? Radiation levels are rising. Over. Wait, I saw something else over here. Base, can you hear me? Something strange is happening. Devices break down. Indicates they're constantly changing. It can't be that everything breaks down at the same time. It seems that there is some kind of anomaly here. This is the base. Omega, stay away from the object. Observe the object from a distance. Don't have to tell me twice. I don't know, man. Okay, there's the chopper, so I'm close. Omega, fly away. Michael Anderson, follow protocol. I don't know what protocol. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Fuck. What the hell is going on? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't have a fla- oh, I do have a flashlight. That's what's lighting my path. But I don't have the light from the choppers Can anymore. anyone hear me? Over. Probably not. Probably not. I'm all alone now. Great. Great. Can great! Can answer? That's just yeah. great! It's just fantastic. Fantastic! Night vision, nice. Oh, that's cool. like growing out of him oh, that's gross oh it's over here wait okay it's over here <gasps> oh, I scared myself oh my god <laughs> oh there it is I see it I see it I see it Thank mm -hmm. you. 
They turn their lights off. Oh my god, they're all around me. Uh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay then. Okay then. I see what I'm in for. I see what I'm in for. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we'll do demo. Unexplained phenomena occurred at Grayswood Farm. On the night of August 7th, the Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in a random direction and at different speeds. After a while, they vanished. The strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. The dogs dog became aggressive, tried to attack him and bit him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception, drawing attention to oneself, or a sensation about an alien invasion. Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Gracewood Farm to take a photo and make a report for the local newspaper. It seems every horror game begins with a black screen and the sound of a car coming to a stop and a door closing. <laughs> Talk to farmer Peter Sherman. Out in the middle of nowhere. Gotta go out to a farm and talk to... Oh, okay. Press left mouse button to take a photo. Okay. Okay. This is great material for a news report. Sherman's house. Okay, so we'll walk down this dimly lit corridor through the cornfields. Already, already, this is better than Grey Hill Incident, just for the simple fact that I can see what's happening around me. It was Grey Hill Incident was so dark, you couldn't see anything. Even with the flashlight, you couldn't see anything. Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other. Be careful, Peter Sherman. Okay. Okay, I guess we're checking out the farm. You have any messages? Uh, oh. Not working. Or is it working? And we're picking up their messages. Don't know. We'll find out. That's locked. Ooh, what you got in the fridge? Uh, can't find out. Oh, but we got pictures. Let's see. In the photo, members of the Sherman family. Oh, in the photo, members of the Sherman family. That's it. <laughs> I thought it was going to be more to that. And now here they are in a cornfield. Oh, they look really happy. Oh, I hope the daughter's okay. Fudgy the whale. Well, someone had pizza and milk and left the carton out. That's not good. She put that back in the fridge. That'll go bad. And an unopened can of cola. What we got? They are here! Mystery sky object seen here in Orano. This old newspaper has information about UFOs and crop circles. These phenomena have been seen throughout the state for a long time why i never knew about this i don't know why you never knew about this i knew about this and i don't even live there uh in the photo members of the sherman family had a suitcase can't look in the drawers Environments are really nice. The uh, the building looks... I mean, it looks pretty good. It looks like I would expect a farmhouse to look. Okay. Bedroom. We got shoes and a sock. One sock. The computer is on. And books. And the music's starting to pick up and get a little creepy. 
Found my old diary. How could I forget that? I saw the aliens! Okay, found my old diary from when I was 15 years old. How could I forget that? Today was the most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from an abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly I was deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around, very low above the ground. A huge disc with four flashing lights or windows was hovering. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if in zero gravity. Everything around me became blindingly bright and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with gray skin and big eyes. I was placed onto the table as if I was welded to it. They were standing over me. It seemed to me that they communicated with each other telepathically. Then one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up on the pier later in the evening and barely made it home. My head was buzzing and I walked home as if in a delirium. When I got there, I, find several, I found several cuts on my body and two small, very smooth holes behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. Wow, that's creepy. And yes, I would be scared too. Oh, we got pictures. Printed photos from the internet. <clears throat> Perhaps Peter Sherman saw something similar. It looks creepy. Yeah, same. Figure all these probably say the same thing. Are these actual pictures from the that old alien autopsy video? <laughs> I think it is. Oh, that's not. I don't know what that is. That's creepy. Okay. Books. All right, let's check out the computer. Somebody had pizza in here too, and beer. I've learned a lot about these things. They're called the Greys. These are not little green men, but big, creepy, and dangerous creatures. Basically, they can be described in the following way. A large head, disproportionate to the body, no hair, bottomless black eyes, gray skin, long, thin limbs. Their voices are like nothing else. These aliens are very aggressive towards people. It all starts with bright lights in the sky near, the, near home, which move along a certain way. Then the people start to have a nosebleed have severe headaches and buzz in their ears, and animals start raging. Next, people start to have memory lapses. When they come back to normal, they find themselves in unexpected places, for example, in the middle of a field or on a road a few kilometers away from home. Some of them have flashbacks of terrible memories. People remember terrifying experiences. The aliens established control over their minds, and this has affected their psyche. Also, they found the marks on the body, incisions to be exact, during palpitation, during palpation, palpation? It felt like something thick, like a foreign object moving under the skin. Gross. How about this room? Is this the daughter's room? Yeah, she's running into the cornfield. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I came in, she wasn't in her bed, and the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. Um. Oh, jeez. Oh, my god. <laughs> ah, scared the crap out of me. All right, we do have a flashlight. Oh, it's a good flashlight, too. It's bright. Okay, can we get out of the room now? Yes, we can. Oh, shit! I'm running. I'm out of here. Oh, this door's open now.
is that. Okay, we can stop this now. Thank you. Not interested in seeing the rest of that. <laughs> okay, there's a note in the bathroom. As a child, headaches began to bother me. They torture me to this day. I went to the doctor dozens of times, but no one could explain the reason for their occurrence. Now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of the migraines. The answer is simple, abduction. I only remembered the alien abduction when I found my old diary. It was then that the migraines began. The cuts that I noticed then behind the ear were a trace of them. <clears throat> I'm sure they've implanted something in me, some kind of transmitter or implant. Because of this, I forgot everything. I definitely decided that I would get it. I'm not crazy. Oh, he tried to dig it out. Oh, he did dig it out. A little jar with a strange device. Alright, we'll take that. More pictures? Dead animals. Okay, well I've been everywhere. It's time to go back outside. I'm not happy about... No, no. Oh, it stopped. Ah. <sighs> Is that my car? Probably. Oh, the battery's dead now. Great. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Oh, jeez! I'm not running very fast. Of course it won't start. <sighs> oh, crap. No, 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 no. We need to get out of here. We need to get out of here right now. <laughs> In the full game, you will find the large ter territory of Greywood Farm and a full story of an alien abduction and add the game to your wish list so you don't miss a discounted release. It's already on my wish list. Just FYI. <laughs> wow. Okay. So that was pretty darn good. Oh my god. I, I cannot wait for this game now. I cannot wait for this game. This is what I wanted Grey Hill Incident to be. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in and, and watching this video. As usual, thank you uh, for making this, this game. I'm really looking forward to it. Let me know in the comments if you're excited about me playing this game live on my channel, because I'm pretty excited. Until then, make sure you click on like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>